Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a strawberry basil gimlet right here in my own home bar, and we're doing it right now. What's going on? Dave Allred, The Real Barman here. Today, I'm getting back to my roots. I'm jumping behind the bar. This is my own home bar, which is coming along nicely. We still need a couple things back here to complete it, but it's doing well. Don't worry about my little mic here. It's just so you can hear the beautiful timbre of my voice. Okay, so today we're gonna make a strawberry basil gimlet. This is a drink I used to make back in the day in my bar, and I put it under the category of a make me something good cocktail, which a lot of girls or women, when they came in, they would say that to me. So I had a large arsenal of make me something good cocktails. They were usually fruity, refreshing, and guys will hate to admit it, but they actually love them also. This is also a great cocktail to make at home or for home parties. Okay, and I think that's enough of an introduction Let's get to the cocktail making. Bam! Like magic, the ingredients appear. So for the strawberry basil gimlet, we're gonna use gin. And I know some of you are like, eh, gin, I don't like gin. But I'm telling you, the cocktail's so good, you can't even tell it's gin. You can make it with vodka if you want, but with the juniper berries mixed with the basil and strawberry, it's really good, I promise. So we're gonna use Bombay Sapphire. If I was making it for myself, I would probably use something like Hendrix, which is my favorite. It's cucumber infused, very, very good but it's just for video's sake, so you scoundrels get Bombay Sapphire. No, it's actually quite a pleasant and high quality gin. I'm just joking around. And then as you can see, we also have our basil, we have strawberry, the fresh lemon juice, and our simple syrup. All right, the basil I purchased at the store, but the strawberries, we have a little strawberry patch in the back that my wife grew. And for the lemon, we actually have a lemon tree, which you can see here, which means we're gonna have freshly plucked lemon within the last few minutes, right? I know, it's like I'm living off the land. I think we need an ox. Can we get an ox? No, my wife says no. So I guess I'll have to keep buying my basil at the store. Okay, so let's put it all together. I'm gonna make it as a martini, but you can also make it as a cocktail, strain it over ice or neat. It's totally up to you. Okay, so let's me, let me make some room here. Get some of this stuff out of the way. First off, we're gonna go with our pint glass. That's my bar flare, you get everything here. And we're gonna build everything in the pint glass first and then we'll shake it in the martini glass. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some strawberries in here. I'm gonna go with like three, depends on the size of your strawberries. And I'm just gonna leave the stems right on there. I'm just gonna put them right in there. And then we're gonna put about three big basil leaves in there. And you can see that fills it up quite a bit, but we're gonna mash it down with our muddler. And then we're gonna do about an ounce of simple syrup. and about the same as a lemon. We cut my lemon really quick. Get your juicer. And it depends on how juicy the lime or the lemon is for how much juice comes out. But about an ounce of lemon juice also. Now I know it's called a strawberry basil gimlet and you're like, Dave, gimlet's lime, hello. But I'm a rule breaker. So. The lemon juice is just so much better. We're still gonna call it a gimlet. Hopefully I don't get a ticket from the mixology police. Okay, so once we have that, we're good to go. We're not gonna put the gin in just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and muddle it. So we get our muddler. We just do kind of a smashing, twisting motion. And you gotta go kind of slow or it's gonna, the strawberries will squirt all over until you get it going. Okay, so I'm just gonna mash this up. It's okay if the basil gets kind of broken up and there's little pieces in there, it's edible. I know some people freak out like, oh, don't break it up or don't break the mint. It doesn't matter, okay? So put it in there, it makes a nice little paste. And now we're gonna go two ounces of gin. If you're lightweight, you could go an ounce and a half of gin. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go two ounces because we're doing a martini. There we go. And now we're gonna get our ice. And I have an ice maker coming. We're, we're, we're making an ice maker down here right now. We do not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and smash our mixing glass on top of there so it's nice and tight, nice seal, and shake it up for about seven seconds. Maybe a little longer. There we go, make sure it's nice and cold. Get our martini glass. Nice if you can have it chilled. I didn't chill it for the purposes of the video. I'm gonna use a strainer. A lot of times I like to strain like this, but we have a lot of pulp. We got basil in here, a lot of big pieces. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use a strainer and we strain it over. It's a lot easier to use the strainer as well. And that's a perfect pour. And then for garnish, you can do whatever you want. You can put a strawberry on here. I already cut a little slit here. So you could do a strawberry and some nice basil leaves. Okay, so that looks really nice. I like to do a slice of lemon because I make my drinks a little on the sweet side for the girls because they like sweeter cocktails. Their tongue is a lot more sensitive than men's. That's why men can drink the scotch and all that because they have a dull tongue. So I make it on the sweeter side, but if they don't like it sweet, they have that lemon wedge and they can squeeze the lemon juice in there and tarten it up a little bit, okay? There you go, the strawberry basil gimlet as the real barman sees it. I hope you enjoyed, I know I did. I appreciate being here. I'm gonna see you next time. I'm out. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Absolutely exquisite. Yeah. <laughs>